All right, now for a proper explanation of the Schlaren video I showed last night. Kind of turned this around and added a curtain so I can work in the daytime. But uh, here we have an eight inch, 203 millimeter by 750 millimeter focal length mirror, parabolic for telescope. And we have our razor edge. And I'm gonna show you here, when I turn this razor's edge out of the way, the schlaring goes away. And you gotta kinda tune it, get it the best you can get. And then I also have this that I used last night. It gives you color images. Like this. But I think the razor's edge, the traditional way of doing it works better. A lot more definition. Right. The other end we have an exact same mirror again. Using an iPad mount for mirror mounts. These are optical breadboards. Styrofoam blocks the light. Now this is a little heat sink and a actually 30 watt LED. Turn it off. We can take a look at it. Right. And I got an iris. And you can see the LED sandwiched in there, stuck to the back of the iris. And the heat sink. It's an aluminum backed LED star, whatever they call it, star pattern. Close the iris down around the LED. And that's my point source. And hopefully you should be able to visualize um, sound waves coming off the gravel flyer, which is coming up shortly. Just waiting on a few parts to put it together. And uh, I'm doing things differently. I took the, uh, the gravel flyer apart and I'm making a top half and a bottom half and I'm going to test them separately and see which one gives us the better results. Something tells me the top half probably doesn't do much because it's blocked by the big disc in between, which may be why Alexi went back to uh, uh, same diameters for all three discs on his last revision that didn't work. Something to think about. Anyway, yeah. if you like what we're doing here, like and subscribe and uh, keep you posted. Take care.